Hey, what's up? This is Rich's Review, and today we're going to be talking about the movie Get Out. Now, Get Out is Jordan Peele's directorial debut, and he did a fantastic job. For those of you who do not know, he is half of Key and Peele. They do comedy skits on Comedy Central. Whoever buys me, they better kill me the first day. I'm going to go buck wild on the whole operation. Okay. So if you watch this movie and you notice the uh, unforced and very natural humor that takes place, that would be why. Now, the story is rated R mainly from language and some grotesque scenes, but not too grotesque like you'd see from Jigsaw. The movie about a black dude going to meet a rich white girl's parents for the first time and some creepy stuff goes down and the homeboy realized real quick he gots to get out. Now, it's a simple premise, but let me go ahead and tell you the concept of meeting a white girl's parents for the first time, especially down here in the South, is scary enough. Man, the first thing I do is I'm going around the house looking for signs of danger. I go around the corner and see, what is that, a noose? Oh, no, I got to get up out of here. Peace, love you, don't love you. That was a joke. Everybody calm down. I don't normally watch horror movies, but this was more of a creepy thriller with some horror elements and then some humor thrown in the mix, which for me gave it a nice, you know, balance. You'd have some really intense moments, and then you'd have some levity, which helped break up the scenes, which I thought made the overall film quite enjoyable. The well-acted facial expressions with the silent pauses and the very awkward conversations went a long way in really building up the intensity for this movie, um, on top of having what I thought to be a really good story. Now, for this type of film, I didn't notice any glaring problems with it, and that is a very good thing. I can see now why this movie was rated so high on Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, it was like 100% at one time. And with most horror films, they normally do a really good job of, you know, building up anticipation and, you know, building up the suspense. And then they go and they lose you by the third act by doing some kind of stupid horror trope and plot holes that just make you plain old mad. But this movie did not do that. In fact, you actually got excited as the third act progressed. There was only one thing that the character did that was stupid. And I understand why they did it based on how the story was built up. And so I didn't really have a problem with it. Um, overall, I thought the movie was just, was just great. I really enjoyed watching this movie in the theater because it was packed and folks was really getting into it. Man, the movie theater over here at Rock Hill, Regal, Manchester was lit. Man, people was gasping, screaming, telling the main character to get out. Yo, man, get out. Get out. I done told you to get up out of that house. And everything in between. So my consensus out of the three choices that we always have, which is Garbo, TV, or go to the movies, is of course, go to the movies. Guys, that is our review for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you've seen the movie, comment below. Let me know what you thought. Let's have a conversation. Um, you can bookmark this page if you're watching it on Facebook by dropping a like on it. You can like the video. I'm gonna be talking about Logan next week. Cannot wait for that film to come out. I've been hearing great things about it. You already know we're gonna do a review over that. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know what the business is. If you like the video, like it. If you want to see more videos like this, then hit the subscribe button. Um, you can also follow my Snapchat at Confi Rich. And until next time, guys, I'm out.